Aloha, everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waihoa, Hawaii. And it's Sunday, so it's tarot time. And I drew five cards uh, from my tarot deck as a form of guidance for this coming week. And hopefully these cards that I picked um, apply to you folks and will help you folks uh, in the coming uh, in a coming grind. <laughs> okay. Uh, so far, 2023 has been a very interesting year. I started off slow and things are beginning to uh, gather momentum as we uh, just pass the equinox. Okay, so we're getting into uh, the uh, springtime. Uh, and so things are awakening and blooming. All right. And hopefully uh, the readings will show. Okay. The first uh, card that I drew. Is the world card okay and this is a really really good card um this is a last of the minor uh major arcana cards which um basically says your journey is done uh, whatever you've been doing or trying to accomplish is done okay so you've reached the end of um your journey and it's time to uh kind of enjoy yourself um take a trip <laughs> okay uh, take a break and um you know, you've gained mastery over some of the things that you've been trying to accomplish. And so uh, you've in control over uh, your work, your business and uh, career. OK, so this is a really good card. And so um, it's encouraging for this uh, for this week. The second card was the is the Queen of Cups. OK. And um, the Queen of Cups re is a reminder that, uh, especially when we're in position of powers, that uh, position of power, we need to be compassionate and understanding and emotionally stable. This is a this card appears when um, you need to maintain uh, emotional balance in your life. Okay. So uh, some of you may be struggling and uh, running into issues or problems at work or with other people. And this is a reminder um, to try and be uh, as emotional, stable or reasonable as possible. Uh, it may be difficult. OK, the next card is Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a call to be bold in your actions and whatever you do, um, be bold. Okay, don't be afraid. Um, stay focused on your goals, and um, it's an encouragement to also uh, meet new people and expand your your social circles. Okay, so. Uh, again, if you're in a position of power, um, be bold. You use your power wisely, um, but uh, take action, okay? The next card is an interesting card because uh, this is the uh, Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups means choices. And when you take a look at um, <clears throat> this person, he has many options uh, to choose from and is having a difficult time deciding uh, what to choose. So you may be finding yourself in a situation where there's so many different uh, options ahead of you that you don't know what to do or what choice to make. Um, but it is important that um, you remain focused, yeah, because some of the choices that you have, you're going to be chasing illusions. Also, when this card shows up, um, it's a reminder to um, you know, watch yourself um, because some of you may be uh, daydreaming too much, okay? Uh, not focused on the present, but uh, more like thinking of other things and you get lost in your daydreams, okay? So this is a reminder to uh, pull yourself back to earth <laughs> and uh, you know deal with the real world. The final card is um, also a really good uh, card, and uh, this is the uh, uh, Three of Wands. Uh, th the Three of Wands uh, represent expansion, growth, progress, and um, there may be someone out there uh, that's being inspired by you. 
Um, basically, this is a person looking into the horizons. Uh, they've made preparations for for a trip uh, or a journey. And it, all of the work uh, in prepara uh, preparing himself and getting the things, the skills, the knowledge, uh, he's done that. And uh, he's ready to take the first step. So um, this is a reminder that, uh, you know, for those of you who have been working hard, uh, putting plans together um, and just waiting for the right moment to uh, to launch a business, uh, go out and uh, do something, uh, go travel, okay? Visit someplace that you haven't been for a while. Um, now's a good time to take that first step, okay? So this week uh, looks like an exciting time, Um you know, it's encouraging you. Hey, you've planned something for a long time. Take the first step and go for it. Okay. And uh, also keep your heads out of the clouds and be realistic with your choices. There's many to be made. The main thing is that you make a choice. Okay. And uh, this one, be bold. Okay. And uh, don't be afraid to use your power. And this one again. Um, if you do have power, um, be kind and compassionate to other people. And the final, the first card that we do is a reminder that, uh, you know, you're at the end of the journey. You've accomplished much in career and life, and it's time to, um, you know, enjoy yourself, relax before you start your new journey. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I hope this is, uh, you know, this was helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please contact me. I have my contact number uh, down below, okay, there. And uh, if you want a free reading, uh, full reading, <laughs> okay, this is how uh, you can contact me. Anyway, until next week, this is Dave Wallace from Waiwa, Hawaii, wishing you well and aloha.